And my next guests were recently the number one trending story online for People magazine. After their unlikely romance proved love can get greater later, even if it takes 20 years to have that fairy tale ending. Broadway star Christy Altamar had all but given up hope on love. That's what she said. But then the unexpected happened. Her childhood crush, Chris Crook, came sashaying swans, I don't even know, like galloping like a knight in shining armor back into her life. I know I'm giddy over this story. Listen, Christy shared their inspiring love story in an Instagram video that's been making hearts melt. Take a look. Such a sucker for a good love story, and this one is great. Christy Altamar and Chris Crook are here with us. Guys, you got me crying. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Welcome to the show. I mean, I, I am in full-blown real tears here because it is so beautiful. Um, you thought that you might never see him again. I mean, it had been 20 years. We had lost touch as we do. We say we fell in love kind of, well, we had crushes on each other during the wonder years, right? Yeah. 11, 12, 13 years old. And then we just lost touch and I, I was engaged to be married. I was previously married. And over the pandemic, you know, he had gotten a divorce and I had, I had you know, broken up with my fiance and we just sort of thought, well, maybe this is it for us and we're just gonna spend our time focusing on ourselves. Right. And then I- On went, a whim, I went to Christie's show and- And it's so crazy because I had never done a solo Broadway cabaret before, but they always say like, you should do the things that scare you the most. Uh -huh. And I knew I was gonna be terrified, but I went and I did it. And the first number I sang was for the first time in forever. Do you know that, that it's from Frozen? Yes. And the second verse she says, what if I meet the one? I suddenly see him standing there, blah, blah, blah. And it's all about her meeting the one. And then right after the show, there he was and I, I just fell madly in love with him. That night she... <laughs> uh, I, I can't breathe. I mean, this is like amazing. Um, Chris, your family convinced you to go to the show, the one woman show that Christy was doing. Yes, my, my mom had gotten tickets. She got four tickets. Uh, so my sister, my sister's friend, Amy, uh, and my mom, and my there's a, a fourth ticket available. And I was like, I think I'm gonna go. I hadn't seen Christy perform in about 20 but years. But his family. Since you were hanging out at Barnes and Nobles in the background. <laughs> yeah. Much, yeah. I, I did light booth stuff while she was in the high school shows. So, so. he lit me in my high school shows oh. all those years. And I, we shared the stage at one point At one, well. in eighth yeah. grade. This is, you're gonna finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> this is like a musical being performed right here in front of me. So Broadway had gone dark and that's why you were doing that show. So yeah. Chris, when you got the fourth ticket, did you think, all right, I'm gonna go back there and I'm gonna say hi. And, and if she feels this way about me, this is a sign. Or did you have any agenda? I had no agenda going into it okay. actually. It was my mom elbowing me during the show going, she's not wearing a ring. And I'm like, maybe maybe she's not wearing it because she's performing. Because everyone knew I was engaged. There was a big announcement because I was playing Anastasia on Broadway. Right. I had originated that role. So when it came out, I was engaged. It was all over like all the Broadway media. So the word was out, you were taken. Everyone but thought. But you weren't. No, she's not wearing a ring. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, this is so good. All right, so your mom nudges you. And, and then when did you say, okay, I'm going for it? 
our uh, director of our, our middle school shows, uh, Mr. Hallman. Who gave me my first lead ever, ended up passing away. And the next day, the day after my show, we went to the funeral and he found out that he had passed away at the show. Yes, I, I had no idea. And I was like, I, I will give Bill a good send off. So I decided to go as well. And we've reconnected at the funeral and talked a bit more. And at the funeral, literally, you know, when you pay your respects to the family, they were like, are you guys dating? Oh. <laughs> so apparently we were giving off those vibes. We were giving off the energy. Like, we, there was this unspoken connection between the two of us. You can't stop looking at each other. <laughs> and I can't stop looking at you. I feel like the creepy friend here. But listen, so the funeral, you know, you, you mourn together. And yeah, then of course. what was the moment where you said, I, I cannot go another minute of my life without her? Honestly, it was, it was, I think, some of that energy from those times we had together that she had mentioned she still had her old AOL email address. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to send her like a little something that's like, hey, if you're back in town and you want to like grab a drink or hang out. Um, it was a very here. long email. It was, it was a very long email. It, was, it, was, it turned out to be lengthy. You mentioned the email because I, I, I know that and I have it here. You went back and found an old letter that he'd sent to you from way back in the day and it said... How old were you when you wrote this? I'm going to read it. Oh, uh, let's see. It was 2000. I was 13. You were 13. Yeah. You're very mature at 13. It says, I really don't know how to put it into words, but I wish I was with you, and I'm pretty sure you like me too. What do you think of me in the way of being, you know, your boyfriend? <laughs> and then you sign it, Chris. But then you add P.S. I would say love, Chris, but I think I shouldn't say love unless I'm totally sure I mean it. These days, I know, I know I'm sure I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh! Listen! And I, I didn't realize, but when I was younger, when I was 13 years old, I kept this big scrapbook, and in the front it says, Christy Altamar's Relationships. <laughs> and it was just like any guy I had a crush on back then. There were pictures of the boys wow. from middle school and old emails that I had printed out and saved. And we, I had never responded to him, but... Because I just, yeah, I had a huge crush on you. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> you always had a crush on me, but I think it's I because did. his sister and I were really good friends. I was and you kind know of you never want to, yeah. yeah, he was sort Can, of off Okay, okay, okay. My head is spinning. <laughs> Listen, you were on a one woman show. Can you guys do this on stage and make this into like a musical on love or something and write this out? <laughs> we would love to. Listen, it gets greater later and it's never too late for love. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Christy and Chris, you can read more about their story and others like it at people.com.